today I will explain to you how to work with product variant. The creation and the usage of the product, standard product, will be found in the previous video called uh, Create a Product that I will link to this video. And I have received a request about how to use, to use a variant. The first thing is to define what is a product variant. A product variant is characterized with uh, specific attributes of a product. For the example, jumpers. So let me first create a jumper. I will not go in all the details about the jumper creation because this is not the relevant point. I will just go straight to the product variant. So I create a jumper. Okay, the jumper has a basic price of 10 euro. Now I'm going to work on the variance. So the first characteristic or the first attribute of a jumper will be the color. Let's say my jumper can have three different color. In this case, I will create an attribute that I call color. And this attribute, I will choose different colors. So I can have navy blue. And the system asks me to create the navy blue attribute. I can press enter and it's going to be created the same. It is very important to understand that in the attribute, you have the attribute here and you put all the attribute values one after the other. So now I also have the standard blue and the green. Let's put a yellow. Okay. So what happens now when I save? You will see the system tells me we have a list of four variants. If I click on the list of four variants, you can see I have the product that is a jumper and I have the attribute color blue, yellow, green, and navy blue. You see that it is only to use when for every jumper you need to specify the attributes. Let's say the jumpers are in different sizes. In this case, I will add another attribute here, I'm going to edit and add another attribute that is going to be the size. And the sizes that I have are XS, S for small, medium, and extra large. Now I can save. And you see here, I have 16 list of variants. Let us click on this and see what happens. So if I look now at the list of the variants, for the jumper, I have the color blue, the size S, the color yellow, the size S. So the system is combining each attribute. So the attribute color with the attribute size and is creating basically the list of it all. What does this has as an impact? If you have many characteristics for your product, you know that using the product variants will create the combination of all the characteristics. So the number of combination can quickly become very big. I have a design for my jumper here and I have two designs the design for girl and the design for boys I save it can you see immediately the number of variants is multiplied by two. Now, what would be interesting is to know 
if a specific attribute is changing anything in the price. In order to get this, I click on the variant prices. And now, for every single attribute, the system allows me to define what is the extra that I'm going to have in order to have the final price. For instance, the color blue is for me the standard color, and this is the one I'm going to sell the most, so I'm not going to make an extra price on this, but for the yellow and the green, I'm going to add some 3 euro for the yellow and 4 euro for the green. For the sizes, for the small sizes, S, X, S and M, I will not have any extra price, but I want to have an extra price of 1 euro for XL. I may also decide that I want a reduction of price of minus of minus 1 euro. And for the design, girl or boy, nothing is going to happen. So now I can save the attribute prices extra. In order to see how it looks like in terms of pricing, I can go here on the left side to product variance. And here you see it. If I have a jumper of color blue of size S and the design for girl, the price is going to be 10 euro. If I have the yellow, I have 13 and the green, I have 14. Now, I had a reduction of 1 euro for extra small. Does it work? Let's have a look at that. I go down and here I have extra small, 9 euro. And the color yellow would add me 3 euro. The size XS would reduce by 1 euro. So I would have 2 euro extra, 12 euro. So you see, it's very, very simple to create uh, new prices with the product variance. The other interesting point in the product variant is that you can add for every single variant an internal reference. For instance, I have clicks on this. You see jumper, it's blue, tie S for girl. So I will call it internally jumper, G, blue, B, S, and G for girl. I just copy because I want to use it again. So I'm going to go to the next one. It's yellow for girl. So you may ask, why is it interesting? I'm going to show you how this works in the sales order. So I'm going to create a sales order for Mark Marlowe. So I have the person on the phone and the person is saying, I want a blue jumper. So I click G for jumper and immediately I have the list of the color. The second thing is the color. Here I have the blue color and then the size, small, and boy or girl, I'm going to say girl. And you see the list is coming immediately. The price is also coming immediately. I can save and close. So what happens now if you don't put any internal number? I, For instance, I type jumper, and now I have the navy blue XS for boys. So everything is coming, the price is coming. If you have not yet put an internal code, you will see just the standard description coming without anything in the front. The last point that I wanted to show you is that when you use the variants, every single variant is treated like a separate product that is related to a template product that has its own life in the system, meaning 
you can have the quantity, you can manage the quantity, you can forecast the quantity, um, you can have its own barcode. It has almost all the attributes that a um, standard product has. And it's very interesting to be able to manage the inventory of um, product variant by its own. For instance, now I'm going to just uh, correct the quantity of a specific product. Now, for instance, I have 23 on hand. I'm going to correct the other quantity of a specific product, of another product. Here I have 12. And the very interesting point in this is that can, if the customer wants to have the yellow jumper for the size S and for the girl, you can always inform him directly that you don't have any in stock for this very specific model, but you have another one like the blue or the green. Well, that's it for today. If you want to have a look at Odoo, visit our webpage, www.denosas.yboservices.net.